vlogging here. Hey guys, it's Joe here from Brew Games. Back with another little vlog here, and it's the first uh, of March, and I uh, got this old school Scottish ale from Granville Island Brewery, and um, this was a little bit interesting because they first released this thing uh, 2014. So two years ago, January 15th is when they have a little blog post about it on their website. And uh, looking at this bottle that I picked up, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, probably not, but uh, they put a bit of sediment on the bottom there. Uh, I don't see a date stamp on this thing anywhere. So there's a chance that this thing could be as old as that. Hopefully it's not, but with the sediment I'm looking at, it could very well be. Um, and actually, I had two Scottish ales that I picked up yesterday. And I was going to do a side-by-side -side kind of testing, but I decided to forego that. Give this a go. I wanted to see what would happen with this. So, on the front of the bottle, it says the Scottish ale. Heaps of roasted malts and a wee bit of hops, pure, dead, brilliant. It's at 20 IBUs, uh, 15 plateau gravity, 6.25% alcohol by volume. Uh, it says the serve between 8 and 12 degrees and pair with Higgis. Now, I won't be doing any pairing today. I'm just going to drink the beer itself. Um, if you're wondering, the other Scottish ale that I picked up is actually from a local brewery here in Calgary called Dandy. Um, so I'm looking forward to testing that one out. They make some pretty good beers. Uh, so looking at it, it's a really rich, dark, ruby color, copperish. Not really much coming off the uh, the nose. A little bit of that brown ale kind of style. Well, nose doesn't say much, but hopefully the taste will. So let's give it a try. Cheers. Okay. The taste definitely makes up for the lack of nose. Um, really nice, rich. A bit rich, but very refreshing flavor on it. Um, definitely tastes like a, a Scotch ale. A little bit flat almost though. Um, that might be from the age. Again, like I said, I don't know when they brewed this bottle. Um, but it does taste a bit flat to me. And there's quite a lot of sediment on the bottom. Um, not the best Scottish ale I've had. Not the worst either. Um, this is definitely one I want to come back to and try and find a fresher bottle of. I think that would make a big difference. Um, yeah, this is very malty. I'm just looking at the website right now for it. I'm saying it's a uh, full bodied malt forward. This revamped re release is a bold brew of pale malt, crystal malt, roasted barley, a touch of wheat malt, and sterling hops. With bold coffee like aromas, I didn't pick those up at all. And an off dry finish, old school Scottish ale has an ABV of 6.25, a BU of 20, making the perfect brew to enjoy on a cold or in Vancouver's case, wet day. Um, this is definitely one I need to pick up a fresher batch of. Because I'm pretty sure this is not anywhere new. Uh, in terms of this bottle, I'm pretty sure it's been sitting on the shelf for a while at the store I picked it up from. So I'm gonna have to track down a fresher bottle 
and compared to this. So stay tuned for an update video sometime in hopefully the near future where I will try this again and see how it goes. So then, cheers.